Hey everybody, it's Invicta TV here, and I'm introducing the Chaperone on this one, doing a quick little weapon review. It's not going to be like my last weapon review for the Telestro, but um, it's going to show more in depth on the video. So watch the watch the Chaperone whip out here. I'm going to do it again. Oh my! If you're a fan of the Last Word, you're going to love the Chaperone. The look and the feel, it's great. But uh, as you see right there, the cool thing about this shotgun is it's it's a slug firing shotgun. It doesn't um, the pellets don't spread out. And therefore, uh, it kind of ruins the gun in one hand, and I'll explain why in a moment here. Is the pellet that only deals 183, there's no way to boost this number to the body. Um, however, it does have a fast rate of fire to make up for that. Uh, you're never going to get a kill with a body shot um, if the target's at full health, no matter how close you are. That being said, in order to use this shotgun effectively, you have to aim for the head, like right here, uh, and it deals 201 which is a really weird number. Um, typically precision damage numbers are like from 183, it would go up to about 270, uh, about a 1.5 times um, boost. However, this right here only goes from 183 to 201, less than a 20 point boost, less than a, um, about a 10% boost, which is terrible. So you always have to aim for your head to score your kills and you're never gonna be killing anything that has Sunsinger, or um, uh, perhaps uh, really any super in general that has any damage resistance, or people with overshields, you can't even score a headshot against them. So it kind of makes the shotgun a little weak, but it does have the fire rate to make up for it. Now I want you guys to see this right here. As you can see, I'm not on his head, but I pull the trigger and still score the kill. I'm going to show it a couple more times. This weapon has a huge aim assist boost, and it's actually quite ridiculous on the final kill. And that's the only thing that makes it usable. So another time right there, a little bit below his head, still score the headshot. Um, so that being said, like, look how close that guy was. Still was not able to score a single shot kill. That's how weak this shotgun is. Therefore, its rate of fire is necessary, but it's not full auto like the Invective. Um, but it does have a little bit higher rate of fire than that. So here's the final kill. I want you guys to see. I'm going to slow it down quite a bit coming up. Um... I'm clearly not on this guy's head uh, in a moment here. In fact, here it goes, slowing it down. Uh, While well, I missed the shot, slowing it down now. Look how far away from his head. As soon as he steps into play, it should, uh, like marksman red, I pull the trigger way off of his head and still score the kill. So that's the chaperone, guys. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe, comment, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.